Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video. Well guys, we've got a short one for you. For those of you thinking of picking up the current or the new 220 watt by facial solar panel by EcoFlow, well, we've got the original one here, and we've got the new one here. Now the original one uses the case as a kickstand, and the new one actually has a built-in kickstand, which is really nice. It also has a built-in solar angle guide. And in this video, we are gonna go ahead and open these up. We're gonna show you how they work. All right, we're gonna compare the specs to both of these. It won't be a long video, but why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. I'm going to take a moment now and put up some specs on both of these panels so that you get to see the specs on both the panels. Now you're also going to see that it can generate power in the front and the back as well as how thick the tempered glass is on the bottom. All right, there you go. Hit pause if you want to review this. We're going to move on with the video. All right, what we're going to do real quick is just show you what's included. So on the original you do get a solar cable and it is actually an XT60i cable to MC4. So you do get that in the box. You also get these hooks because you're going to be using the case as a kickstand. Now on the new one you just get the solar cable. All right again XT60i um, and the cable actually looks thicker which is interesting. So it looks like a thicker cable and Again, that's got kickstands and a solar angle guide. So we're going to go ahead and start off opening up the 220. We're going to set it up so you could see, you know, what we have to go through to set it up. After we do that, we're going to open up this one and do the same. Then we're going to lay both of them out and actually show you that. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the case real quick. Uh, we'll start off here on the handle. A really good handle, very cushiony, you know, good stitching. All right, open this up. You've got much better zippers, by the way, on this. I don't know if they put this kind of zipper on the new one, but this is what you need. You really do, especially with a, a heavier panel. Again, because this has glass, so it's a heavier panel. But um, let's go ahead and, and crack this open, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the new panel, and here's the kickstand case. You'll see that one side is hard, the other side is soft, okay? We'll go over that in a minute. Now, let me just tell you, this older panel, this current model, is uh, 1.8 millimeters, and I believe the new model is 1.3 millimeters. So, they're both tempered glass, but the newer model is actually a little thinner and a little lighter, yet, yet just as strong. Okay, yeah, this actually has tempered glass because you've got the front and the back because it's bifacial. All right, so what we're going to do next now is um, we're just going to take these guys and these basically, you know, just kind of go in these hooks here. All right, so you're going to put one on this side, one here, and then we're going to put them on the top. We'll do that real quick. Again, here's a look at the panel, but you can see this is the back of the panel and that's the front. So you see how the back of the panel is different. It's a different coating. It's an ETFE coating, but the back is actually a tempered glass. All right, so, and it is heavy, and it is also a little stiff because of that. Let me show you the straps, and then I'll show you how to set this up. It'll be a little fumbly. I'll do the best I can, but let me show you the straps first. So there they go. They're on all four corners. All right, now it's going to be awkward, so let me just lift this panel and show you something. So you want to start off just opening the panel, lay it on top. This should be in the middle, okay? 
just kind of like in the middle because basically you're going to need this hole in this hole for your straps all right now here are your straps okay so we'll take the first one and uh, just kind of come around so it's in there like that at the second one again and these are kind of stretchy which is kind of good they, they really redesigned this one uh, and they continue to make it better so now for us to angle this all we do is we grab the panel now I'm going to turn this a little bit but you grab the panel and you're basically using and then and again awkward so give me a second Just kind of get this, you got to get this steep enough to be honest with you because this won't really sit too high because of the design. All right, and it's, you know, again, uh, this is reality. I'm doing this without making it look too pretty, but I have to take the, because the panel is heavy. So it won't sit up too straight because of that. But as you can see, it is now holding, right? And then the bottom two are made if you're going to do a steeper angle. But wow, that, that was it. That's reality. I'm sorry to tell you. The camera didn't really hurt me too much. But that's what it looks like. And, you know, again, you see that panel is your kickstand. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is it doesn't have a built-in solar angle guide. Now, this is what EcoFlow came out with. And it has a dot that creates a shadow. So some people put it on. You can, you can clip this on if you want. You know, it's not going to get in the way. And all you got to do is move your panel and adjust it, right? But the new panel has a solar angle guide. Let's check the new panel out. Here it is. I mean, look at the bag. It's a smaller bag. It's a different panel. And uh, you do get, again, nice cushion handles. All right, and guess what? Because it's, maybe it's because it's not as heavy, you don't get that thicker zipper. They went back with these guys. Again, they work. These things, you'll lose them once in a while. You'll have to contact EcoFlow to get more because they just come off. But it's made well. It is made well. I haven't had any issues in the last couple of years with my 160 and my, I have smaller ones, bigger ones. But uh, let me take this out so you could see that the case is now just a case, first of all, right? So we don't need this because it's just a case. Now, again, this is glass, right? So I put the specs for the glass on the previous, um, you know, just go back a little bit for that if you want that. Um, but here is um, the panel. And as you can see, it's got a kickstand. This is the back of the panel. This is that uh, tempered glass, and as you go inside here, you've got another panel. So you do have four panels, but they're, they're shorter and they're wider. And there is the solar angle guide I was telling you about. So that's built in. Okay, so let's, uh, let me crack this open, and I'll show you how easy it is to set up. So here's your panel. Now you do have three kickstands because you have four panels. So you've got three kickstands, one here, one here, and another one here. All right, again, still pretty easy to angle. I mean, I'm just gonna do this from behind real quick. All right, but because it's a longer panel, it's gonna still need me to open this one up and pull out the kickstand. All right, but I mean, how hard was that? right how hard was that to open up so there we go they're both open and now we're gonna compare them on grass in different angles so you can see what that looks like I'm getting a look at some construction real quick just so you'll know these are screwed in all right so the legs these kickstands are screwed in it's a nice strap with a double stitch so it looks like it should last Got a bolt down there. Again, it's another screw holding the strap. Same thing, right? On this one. And same thing on this one. And then I'll show you the solar angle guide real close. 
That's a solar angle guide, by the way. And since I'm talking about this, if you want to see the video I did on this new 220 watt panel, I'll put an image in the upper right hand corner so you could see what it looks like. I'm going to put a link in the video description for you. And later on in the video, I'll even put a link in the video you can click on and you can actually watch the video directly without having to go to the description. Okay, I got these standing up as high as I could. And then we'll lean them back as much as we could. But as you can see here, the new panels, kickstands, really work very well. You know, I mean, this thing is pretty straight, as you can see. I mean, compared to the angle on the current 220. Now, the reality is, being bifacial, you'd want the back open, wouldn't you? And having a part of the back blocked doesn't really help, you know, because you want the light to be in the back panel as much as possible. So let me take these two and tilt them back as much as I can so you can see the angle. So that's it there. I mean, this is as far as this will go. Now the grass does help it, just so you'll know. This one, I believe I've got it all the way. So if I come over to this corner, I'm going to show you an angle. You'll see that it's still definitely a good amount lower than the other panel. All right, so I am showing you the image to the new 220 by facial uh, video that we just did. That is the image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the word 220W in the upper right hand corner in a moment. When that pops up, you just click on it and you can watch the video. All right. It's coming up in a moment. All right. As you can see, the arrow is pointing to it. So there is the word 220 watt in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and watch the video. And don't forget, if you if you want, you can go to the video description and, and click on that. All right. Well. As promised, here is some really good information on the original and the next gen. Take a good look at this. You can hit pause, but you know, you can definitely see some differences here. And I really like the new panel. All right, guys. Well, I sure hope this information helped you. You know, seeing both panels up close, what they come with, how they actually adjust an angle. If it did help you, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. It really helps the channel. All right. And uh, if you want to follow us on social media, we'll put our social media channels right up top. You could follow us on social media. We'll put our Tesla channel in the upper right hand corner. It's at my Tesla journey one on YouTube. Look us up. We just started. It's a new channel. And I'm going to put videos on the right for you if you want to click on those and check them out. And if you want to subscribe to our channel here at Tech Made Easy and join the family, we'll go ahead and click our round logo right there. And you'll be able to subscribe and join the family. Guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.